When you were down there playing, did you ever take note of individual fans in the stands? Just the ones that were armed. Just the ones that were armed. No, the fans really inspire the football team uh, for the defense after a goal line stand, a return, a turnover, a big play. Fans have a lot to do with motivating a home team. And there have been four sellout crowds here the last four games, and all have been victories. Well, many people have said it. I certainly agree. These are the greatest fans in the world, and they've been a big part of this win streak for the football team. They really have been a big part of the Saints this year and in other years. You know, they've stuck with this team through 20 non-winning seasons, always hoping that next season would bring that elusive first year of victory, and this year it has. Tom Foreman and Judy Storch have some interesting observations about Saints fans, beginning with Tom, who looks at one long-suffering fan who is now rejoicing in victory. You know Paul Miramon. Go! Go, boy! That's yours. That's yours. Whether you have ever met him or not. There we go. That fella hit him. Look. Oh! Look at that. Oh! Look what he did. Oh! Oh! You know Paul Miramon. because he is a Saints fan. Oh, wow! Go, man! Go! 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 For 21 years since game one, Paul has been here among the Saints season ticket holders, with his wife Hilda holding forth hope for a team so often beyond hoping. Of course, we've had some very, very bad years. <laughs> and we would leave many, many times in the fourth quarter. I would say back uh, in 77, we decided, let's not renew. Then, uh, oh, okay, let's try one more year. Because we knew one day this would happen. The Miramons live in a spacious old home in Araby. Their children are grown now, but the house is still crowded with Saints memorabilia, from the Saints Christmas tree to Paul Miramon's old seat from Tulane Stadium. He remembers every moment from every game. Well, it's a different football team now. In the past, uh, <clears throat> we had a wonderful quarterback in Archie Manning for many, many years. But poor Archie had no offensive line, and he had to run for his life the whole eight years. And now, as you can see, your quarterbacks have a little time to throw the ball now. I don't think they'll lose. They may lose a game now and then. I don't think they'll win every game, but they're not going to have losing seasons anymore. No, positively not. We are going to be winners from now on, and I'm going to be very, very proud. For Saints fans like the Miramons, pride has been the watchword all along. Pride, hope, and the sheer love of a game. Well, it's just the excitement that, that goes with it, you know? Uh, it's just a little bit of, I don't know, uh, we, we, the band, just everything. Uh, you put it all together and it just makes a beautiful Sunday. Let's go, Bobby. Let's get this touchdown. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You know Paul Miramon. After 21 Wide years, open. he's a winner too. Wide open. Wide open. Oh, I think we're going all the way. I really do. I sincerely believe we're going all the way. But we're not going to be losers anymore, I'll promise you. I'm Tom Foreman. <laughs> they start them young in New Orleans, right down to the diapers. Who's the youngest Saints fan? The youngest Saints fan, maybe, but as a female, little Max is not alone, not by a long shot. Have you ever noticed how many women follow the Saints? Probably a lot more than in most NFL cities. The Saints, I love them. Gone are the stereotypical Sundays with men in front of the TV and women pulling their hair out. But maybe that was never the case in New Orleans, especially if you listen to the experts. I've been coming for 21 years. Well, you make the track. Football. And now we've got good football. Never been a football fan. Until you move to the move to New Orleans. It's tough to put
put your finger on why, but the Saints have apparently had a devoted fan club of women from the beginning. Just the atmosphere and everything is the Saints still to the Saints set. The fact is, 10% of all season tickets sold for the Saints are bought by women. Even that is a small fraction of all the women who actually go to the games. And talk about a football field of reasons. Uh, because I have so many good-looking players on the team. Ruben Mays. <laughs> Ruben Mays. Gordon Anderson. Great. Well, great. Why? <laughs> Tell me why. <laughs> Tell me the truth. <laughs> He's cute. Oh, fine. <laughs> He's courageous. And then there's the coach who helped turn things around. Oh, I think he's great. And he's good looking too. Looks aside, it may not be smart to doubt a New Orleans woman and her knowledge of football. Just ask the men. This is no more than me. This is no more than me about football. Of course, while the women have been believers for a long time, there are still men who don't believe the women. Because it's Superdome. It's indoors, and they can come indoors. <laughs> yeah, they don't have to get cold and wet and stuff like that. They're probably just kidding. But it's obviously no joke that football, like politics, is a way of life in New Orleans for men and women right down to the diapers. She goes, go, go, say, this is Judy Storch. You know, there's not one member of this New Orleans Saints football team who's ever played in an NFL playoff game, and now they're all about to. And that makes this a particularly happy time to be home for the holidays. We'll see one example right after this.